It is time now to see what the Hollywood of the South has been up to in our segment that we call The A Scene. Joining us now is our entertainment reporter, Francesca Onlicker. Yes. Yes. Hello. I have missed you. I was telling her in the commercial break, she's been out and about oh my representing. Gosh. We have been doing our thing. You know, the A scene, we're getting bigger and better by the day, which is fantastic. I'm um, so excited. Oh, we are excited too. Um, I mean, the A scene, myself, we just received the Media Mover Award nice. by, mm -hmm, by the Technology Association, which is, I mean, amazing. Uh, Technology Association of Georgia. So we received that for moving forward and moving the entertainment industry forward here in Georgia, which yeah. has been phenomenal. And then, of course, we've been interviewing all the stars. And I so we've, know. We've had some late nights. We interviewed Tyler Perry just a couple of weeks ago. And then um, we also interviewed Chloe and Hallie, who are Beyonce's protégés. So we've been moving so and shaking. So much. OK, you had a big weekend, though, in particular. Mm -hmm. um, tell me all that went on. Oh, my goodness. And this is for all you content creators out there. So we had a huge weekend. The ATL Pitch Summit just went down. And I had the amazing opportunity of hosting the panel with NBC Lifetime Aspire TV Nickelodeon executives. It was phenomenal. We had hundreds of people come out, people who have written scripts and they're from Georgia and they were literally pitching their ideas right at the there. battery right there. That's Perfect. awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it, hey, this is a different world than just, you know, writing a pilot, you know, pitching it to a network now with everything so digital. Mm -hmm. There are lots of opportunities to get your stories told and um, it's incredible having that, my God, that talent there exactly. this weekend, I imagine. And they love Georgia. I mean, they flew in from Los Angeles, from New York City. Good. And they are just blown away by the workforce that we have here. And so many people had their power points ready so it was really fun to watch that's cute that's mm -hmm. awesome okay also celeb spottings if you're in town maybe you're visiting uh, some friends and family here in Atlanta guess what you might be turning a corner and bump into a famous star oh yes we have quite a few of them in fact you know over the weekend Kiki do, do you love, love I was just showing them my girls their little <laughs> dance to it on my Instagram page yes everyone was in town this weekend of course for champagne Papi mm, oh. his concert oh she, yeah y'all put that photo in there Whoa. that's only for Instagram Instagram. Nice. Moving on. So um, <laughs> Drake's concert and Migos concert was this weekend and it was three days and there he is right there with Aww. yes Salma Hayek and Monica and Tiffany Haddish the comedian. So that was remarkable and that's just a fraction of the amount of celebrities that were in town at State Farm Arena this weekend. How fun. What a great concert. Yes, yes. Trey Songs was here, Future, Jeezy. I mean, the list goes on so many, and so, it was just so diverse. It was fantastic. Okay, and then speaking of amazing singers, Miss yes. Patti LaBelle. Miss Patti LaBelle. Yes, she was spotted at the Tyler Perry Studios, and there she is with a fan named Carol Welch. And Carol was actually able to snag this photo. She was in a choir scene on Greenleaf, ah. which shoots at Tyler Perry Studios. Um, in, in around the East Point area, so that was pretty fantastic. Yeah, I mean. and I always like to see when the stars are willing to do selfies or take the pictures. You know, they get inundated with requests. Yes. So it's so nice she was willing to do that. And then the one and only Miss Dolly, Dolly Parton. Parton. Yes, Dolly Parton. So this was a fun one right here, and you can see how this, how much security and how many fences they had because this person was only able to get this photo from a, a little, you know, a <laughs> while away. away. Yeah. Right. But that's Dolly Parton right so there in the baby away. blue. She's in town in Duluth actually on one of the stages there and she is shooting <clears throat> an eight-part series on Netflix. It's called Dolly Parton's Heartstrings. And it is about, it's an anthology about her life, about her music, about ups and downs in her life. And the thing I love about this eight part episode is that each of the episodes is going to be named after one of her songs. Episode number one is going to be called Jolene. Oh, God. And by the way, Dollywood, they come on the show. Uh, we'd like, Dolly, if you're listening, we'd like for us all here at Atlanta and Company to go up and experience it and do a live yes. show from Dollywood. Right, Lance? Let's make right. it happen. Let's pitch it. And bring me. Yes, and you're coming too. <laughs> okay, who's next? Who's, oh, Yes, favorites. I know. I know. Ed Sheeran, one yes. of your favorite. So this happened recently. Ed Sheeran was in town. I'm not sure if you got a chance to go to the concert. I didn't. But you know who did? Who? Millie Bobby Brown from oh. Stranger Things. She's oh, 27. She's 14. And she was able to get behind the stage or backstage with him. Apparently, they're friends and they met for the first time. Um, but then this is also, and then the next day, she actually posted this photo. I thought it was pretty sad. But you know, Stranger Things has been filming in town yeah. for quite some time the past couple of months, but they had just wrapped filming. Mm -hmm. And that's her and one of her best friends, Sadie, just hugging and Happy. saying, until next year. Until next year, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, tell me what else. What else is happening filming here in town now? Yes, so wait, Creed 2. 
Creed 2, I want to, yeah, uh huh. So Creed 2, they didn't exactly film here. However, um, the cast from Creed 2 did drop by, not necessarily our studios, but they dropped by Atlanta. And of course, they called the A scene to interview Michael B. Jordan, yes. who stars in the film. His I love sexy him. Mm. I love and then him. another sexy one is this, <laughs> this guy who just was on the screen for the first time, made his acting debut. His name is Florine Montianu. He's a Romanian pro pro wrestler, pro boxer? fighter, boxer. boxer. And um, I mean, uh, Listen to this interview. How did you tap into this character that allowed us to think, shoot, who's Michael? That is Adonis Creed. How'd you, where'd you, where'd you pull from? And we, we wanted to evolve the relationship and, and the characters and and and, um, and and build on what we started on Creed 1. Like, what would a boxer be going through? Like, what would Adonis be going through this time around? We wanted to give him a family. We wanted to challenge him with everything that comes along with that. You were getting smacked and you were doing the smacking and it looked so real. Talk to me about the special effects, the behind the scenes, the bromance, everything. We really did everything there was no stunt guys in the sense of like you know me and Flo did all our own um, all our own stunts we we got hit when we needed to get hit the slow motion stuff like we really were competitive and we really wanted to like do things uh, the old school way yeah so again God. for those who don't know Creed is about the trials and tribulations of a, a wrestler named Adonis or a boxer named Adonis and he's walking in his father's footsteps yes. and trying to be better but in Creed 2 we're seeing more of a relationship that he has between his new wife and the baby and, the, and how it all balances out yeah. I love that boy they're in great shape uh, great shape but they were just oh when I tell yeah, you girl sorry. I couldn't girl. Help, I couldn't help but notice I couldn't help. now that looks incredible and, and I love him he's such a great actor movie. all right before we wrap sorry Michelle did you say wrap uh, okay Casting calls, we oh, gotta get to those. Of course, go to projectcasting.com, but here's a little teaser for you. So right now, Fox is uh, the gifted. They are looking for business types, okay? And okay. if you are a fan of Steven Spielberg, yes, yes, he and Apple have teamed up and they have a new movie coming out. He's actually looking for amazing stories. So if you feel like that fits you, go to projectcasting.com and make sure you submit. Awesome, thank you so much, Fran. And listen, you need to stay up to date on all the hot celeb happenings. All you have to do is follow the A scene yeah. on all social media. Media. And don't forget, let us know if you actually see some celebs filming around the ATL. Just use the hashtag, the A scene. Thank you so much.